Biggest time a uh, company ripped you up. Biggest ripoff. Uh, let's get to Tom. What's up, Tom? How you doing? Good. What's your story, buddy? Oh, uh, I was uh, I was in an accident when I was real young. I was a passenger in a vehicle, and we got a settlement for it. I was supposed to get like seventeen hundred dollars out of it. Well, by the time my uh, time come around, and I was old enough to get it, I went down to Bank of America to go cash it out. Ends up, I only got like five hundred dollars. The guy, the teller down there, said that there's a bunch of fees and all this for an accident. Yeah, it was a for a car accident. Accident Wait, fees. So you got you got tax like what? What is that? Like seventy percent? I don't know some ridiculous thing. Well, it turns out my little brother was in the same accident. He's five years younger than me, and when he went in, he got the full amount that he was supposed to be getting, like twenty five hundred dollars. So it turns out that the teller ripped me off for like fifteen. <laughs> Damn! Oh, wow. Accident fees. So he cashed out your check and then kept whatever twelve hundred dollars of it and stuffed it in his pocket yeah something like that and then by the time i realized it that guy was no longer in the business and in the company and they weren't even willing to try to help me mm. yeah that's a ripoff man guys making money on kids that have been crippled up in a car accident yeah well i mean i think that there should be no reason for any i mean think about it. if you win a, a a gazillion dollars in the lottery they tax you 40 percent. something like that yeah so if you get in an accident, you just got to assume a 70% tax, probably there's something fishy. Stiff, a little stiff. Yo, Kenny. Well, you know, uh, I lived out here in Vegas for a while, but then I, you know, I, I'm a carpenter, so I was going where the work was. And uh, I, had, I had a wife and kid at the time, and we moved to California. There was some work in San Diego. and But uh, the work, the, it only lasted like a month. And so I was looking for work after, uh, after we had gotten laid off. And, you know, we had no money. I didn't work long enough to be able to collect unemployment from the company. So uh, I was really bringing in nothing. Kenny, and, are, uh, we even, are we even close to the point where you got ripped yeah, off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, sorry. Uh, we, so we get there. Uh, anyways, I had Sirius XM, and they, they took us to uh, uh, where I paid a year subscription for it like a year ago. And uh, they asked me if I wanted to renew the subscription. And I said... Uh, no, because I had no idea if my any money was going to be in my bank account at that point in a year or not. And uh, so when I was in California, I didn't. I'm not even thinking about serious, you know, or anything like that. And uh, I got some money deposited in my check in my account. And right when I got it, all of a sudden, it, it wasn't enough. But Sirius charged me for another year subscription. And so when they charged me, it overdrafted me also. Oh and man! Threw me in, yeah, and threw me into the negative. And so I called Sirius and, uh, you know, I tore into them and I made them pay my overdraft fees and everything, but I couldn't get the money for another two weeks and, uh, being broke and waiting for money for two weeks. How uh, much, how much money was it? It was, uh, the, after the overdraft fees, it was like 210 bucks. Yeah. yeah. That's when you got to call them and go, look, I, I mean, you just bankrupted me. I got kids and I need the money. Did you ever, yeah. but you finally got it all back, right? Yeah, I finally got it back after about two weeks. They sent me a check in the mail, and uh, I, I never turned series back on after that. <laughs> well, good, well, good <laughs> news, Kenny. Back on. The Marco and Jeet show is always free. Well, we're going to start charging, yeah, actually. Well, we're, we're charging Kenny. We're charging Kenny, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kenny, we're going to yeah, send you. Yeah, you know, you guys, uh, 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 I called in one time, and I, I almost threw out a curse word, and it halfway came out. Yeah. And, you know, you guys stop it. Well, Kenny, it, word. It, it, the thing about you, Kenny, is it takes you so long to, to, to get to your point. We were able to catch it because you were <laughs> yeah, yeah. you were like, yeah. son of a... Yeah. And then we stopped it. So that's you know, the... I'm a detailed guy when I tell my story. <laughs> no, I thought we were all going to have to walk to San Diego until we got the end of the story. You're driving that. there. I didn't know what happened. Yeah, you're not doing... You say you're not doing the Sirius XM anymore, right? Yeah, no. All right. Only you guys. <laughs> well, we're sending you a bill for $210. <laughs> oh, just kidding, Kenny. Hold on. But what are you doing now for work? Are you working? Everything good? I'm actually, out, like, I live in Pahrump, actually, and I'm out here in Vegas right now uh, looking for work, and I got some good news today. So uh, just keep, all I got to do is keep looking. All right, buddy. Well, hang in there, all right? All right. It's a tough world, man. Yeah, I know. I, I know. It's a tough world, I tell you. I, I, this way, this world sucks, to be quite honest with you. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad Kenny got some. I'm glad he got some good news. It's tough, man. You got a, you know, you got a wife. You got kids. This is a tough ass world. 
You know, I, what, I feel for I feel for people and I feel for me. You know what I feel the, for everybody. You know what the cruel irony of life is when you're young and like you're in high school and oh, stuff. I know. All you're doing is like dying to get out of there and oh, grow up. Yeah. And when you grow up, you're like, I'd kill to be younger and go be back in high school. Hey, uh, Cynthony. Uh, Cynthony. Cynthia. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Changing your name. Uh, biggest ripoff you were involved in. Did you get ripped off? Um, actually, I still am, to be quite honest with you. I have Sprint for a provider, yeah. and I've had them for two years. I went from Verizon to Sprint. I've had nothing but problems, drop calls. I have to stand in my bathroom, walk around. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really love them. They suck. So I had to go into Sprint the other day. I spent three hours. Oh, you guys are going to really love this. I'm really pissed off because I was married to a Marine for 16 years, right? Mm-hmm. And then, and then... And then I go into, um, well, long story short, I'll get you, I'll get to that point. So I spent three hours with Sprint on the phone, did not get resolved, walked into the store, spent another two hours in there, walked into the store. The guy said, let me see your phone. I gave him my phone. He's like, okay, I need a half an hour. I walked around, came back 45 minutes later, and I went over to the, the customer service guy at Sprint. I said, hey, how are we doing over here? He said, oh, I need some more time. Can, you know, Cynthia, 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 mm-hmm. I know you're angry. Yeah. But so at the yeah. end of the day, how did they how yeah. did they rip you off? Basically, they're, I'm still being screwed by them because they won't let me out of my contract. If I go over to Verizon, which is definitely a better provider, I had them for <laughs> so, Yes. So I went to Cynthia I works for Sprint. Verizon. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you know, Verizon, no, listen, kidding. Cynthia, Verizon, no. Verizon's sitting there going, no. hey, why'd you walk away yeah. from us? I mean, because it's like you was, broke up with your boyfriend. You. you broke up with your yeah. boyfriend, and now you want him back. It was a bad mistake. Yeah. I feel it was bad. It was a really bad mistake that I did that. But, you know, you you pay $130 a month for limited <laughs> talk, text, and data, yeah. which that's why originally why I switched. And now I'm ready to smack myself. But, no, it's just terrible. It's Can't just, you it's call Verizon? No, doesn't listen, doesn't they, Verizon listen. have a plan oh, that you but can? It gets better, though. It gets better with its Sprint. So when I went in there, I asked for corporate. I asked, I said, hey, can I get a corporate number? They said, no, I want to talk to Mr. Sprint. <laughs> they told me the there's no corporate. Uh. They said, yeah, they said there's no corporate. And I'm like, well, who who owns Sprint? And they said Sprint's <laughs> owned by a Japanese company. <laughs> so they don't give it. They don't give a crap, basically. We're right. not, and you know, we know when you call them, what they do is when you call them, they fired 2,500 people in the United States and they opened up companies in the Philippines. Cynthia, okay? are, you, are you talking on your Sprint phone right now? Unfortunately, I am. Sounds pretty good to yeah, me. Yeah, crystal clear. Crystal clear. Yeah. Actually, it's, you're the, you're the miracle. best you know sounding I'm call we've had all morning, <laughs> yeah. to be honest with you. Honestly, it's a miracle. You know why? I'll tell you why. I'm sitting in a van, 109 <laughs> degrees in front of Lowe's. Even if I was at home uh, or in a normal place, it wouldn't work. But I got to yeah, tell you, so, I think we're going to, this this bit, today's show poll, is being brought to you by Sprint for crystal clear no, audio. No, go to no, Sprint. You no, sound great. No, I've never heard no. a better phone call Verizon. in my life. Verizon. No, Sprint is horrible. Go to Verizon. Uh, Verizon I'm changing providers wonderful. today. I'm going to Sprint I to change. I've never heard anything like this. I'm going to turn in an application, too. I want to work there. Yeah. Cynthia, hold on a second, okay? Yeah. We'll get you qualified for the show, Paul. Good story. Very passionate story. I could tell you're angry. Yeah, I'm pissed. I, I <laughs> oh, you should have heard what I told the customer. No, 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 though. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to. Hold on a second. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'll tell you, her call sounded great. I mean, she was it loud. Really did. She was crystal clear. It was almost like in stereo. At one point, I looked at the extra mic in studio and thought she was in here That's with what I us. Thought. I'm actually thinking about dropping Verizon now. Uh, going with Sprint. That yeah. sounded awesome. AT&T, I think I'm going to go ahead and just call them today and bag out and head over to Sprint. I mean, the Verizon guy went over to Sprint. You guys seen the commercials on TV? Yeah, can you believe that? You know the Verizon guy yeah. is now the, now the Sprint guy? Yeah. Hey, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Verizon Can You Hear Me Now guy went to Sprint. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. When I was in Sprint, I was telling everyone, go to Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. God, she sounds great, doesn't I can she? I hear her. She does. 